The appeal of contemporary Porsche sports cars lies in their adaptability, seamlessly fitting into various driving scenarios. Whether navigating a lively two-lane road or enduring a stressful commute, the precision inherent in models like the Porsche 718 or 911 instills a sense of control. Be it a leisurely Sunday cruise, a cross-country road trip, or a flashy jot-down rodeo drive, Porsches are versatile companions. However, the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS stands as an exception to this versatility. Driving it at low speeds, on highways, in city traffic, or with a non-car enthusiast as a passenger can be somewhat disheartening. Significantly stiffer than its 911 GT3 counterpart, the RS demands the right setting to showcase its superlative capabilities. While Michigan's roads may lack the ideal combination of twists and smoothness for the full experience, my admiration for the car remains undiminished. In a landscape saturated with automakers emphasizing compromise-free vehicles, the latest GT3 RS boldly and unapologetically prioritizes a singular objective, achieving mind-bogglingly fast lap times, at the expense of all else. Can you handle this? Labeling the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS as a road-legal race car understates the monumental achievement by Porsche. It's not just a race car for the road, it's a race car crafted for the racetrack. This assertion is supported by its remarkable lap time at the Road America circuit, a mere 3.67 seconds behind the 911 GT3 Cup race car tested on the same day. On Motor Trend's Michigan test track, the 911 GT3 RS delivered another extraordinary performance, clocking a 21.9 second lap on the figure eight course. This achievement ties it for third place in our production car record book alongside formidable competitors like the McLaren Senna, Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, Chevrolet Corvette Z06, and Porsche's own 911 GT2 RS. Notably, each of these cars boasts at least 150 more horsepower than the GT3 RS. Additionally, the RS aerodynamics, designed for extreme downforce and enhanced grip, are not fully optimized at the speeds permitted on our figure eight course. Nevertheless, the GT3 RS compensates for its modest 518 horsepower and 343 lbft of torque by enabling the driver to brake later and harder before gracefully navigating corners. Reminiscent of a tetherball absorbing a blow from Conor McGregor. Its remarkable 236-foot stop from 100 miles per hour stands as the shortest we've ever recorded, attributed in part to a rear wing that stands upright under braking. A set of Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2, our tires firmly anchors the car to the skid pad, delivering 1.18 Gs, average, of lateral grip, a mere 0.01 G away from claiming the top spot in our testing database. Approaching a bend with expectations of the 911 GT3 RS matching the stability and forgiveness of a 911 Carrera S can lead to sideways exits, backward slides, or misturns. This is because the RS exhibits greater neutrality at the limit compared to today's road-oriented 911s. Excessive braking into the corner may unsettle the rear end, and entering with excessive speed can cause the front end to push wide. While the RS rear tires match the 911 Cup race car's width at 13.0 inches, the front tires are 2.0 inches narrower, making it easier to induce understeer than oversteer. These aren't criticisms, but rather straightforward descriptions of a driver's car responding directly to the driver's actions. In the absence of a sudden torque surge to loosen the rear tires, correcting a nose-first skid with a throttle blip in the GT3 RS is not an option. Achieving the perfect corner requires precise setup and entry. Unlike a 911 GTS, which can make any driver feel like a hero, gratification in the GT3 RS must be earned through vigorous driving, offering valuable lessons in chassis dynamics. What sets the 911 GT3 RS apart is its ability to maintain neutrality at extreme limits while remaining approachable and unintimidating. The credit for this goes to perfectly calibrated controls. The steering operates seemingly on the same 70 millivolts as your nervous system, translating feedback from the front wheels into subtle rolls and flicks of your wrists, bypassing conscious thought. The brake pedal, too, provides textbook perfect feel and travel, facilitating precise modulation against the ABS threshold. This Porsche stands apart from the rest. On public roads, the front tires meticulously trace the contours, imparting constant tugs on the car and steering wheel. The ride, as expected from the tire-filled wheel wells, is stiff. However, like most Porsches, this one cushions the initial impact of the harshest bumps, 
rendering it notably more refined than the BMW M4 CSL. Attempting to emulate the 911 GT3 RS formula at a price nearly $100,000 less than the Porsche. For controls on the steering will empower the driver to finally adjust the dampers, brake based torque vectoring, and traction and stability control. The ability to independently fine-tune compression and rebound at the front and rear, offering nine settings each, results in a staggering 6,561 potential permutations for the dampers alone. The true value of such adjustability may not be fully realized on our test track smooth, flat vehicle dynamics pad. Experimenting with the settings on public roads left us with the impression that even the discerning Walter Rural might not discern the subtle difference produced by a single click of the dial. This duality can be seen as both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it safeguards this masterpiece from inadvertent mishandling. On the other, it imparts an uncharacteristic theatricality to a Porsche. Historically, the company has chosen a simpler path, distinguishing itself from BMW's M Division and Mercedes AMG, which inundate drivers with a plethora of driving dynamics adjustments. The chassis experts at Porsche's WISAC R&D Center seem quite capable of executing their tasks without external intervention. How swift is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS? Enhanced with the $33,520 WISAC lightweighting package, the $302,020 racing yellow GT3 RS in this story's test weighed a mere 3,220 pounds, less than the average compact Econobox. This achievement is remarkable given the substantial width of the tires, wing, and body. Despite replacing interior door handles with fabric pulls, it maintains a semblance of comfort without compromising its minimalist essence. The weight includes air conditioning, rear-wheel steering, and an optional front axle lifter, while the door skins are crafted from carbon fiber. The relatively lightweight build enables the 2023 Porsche 911 GT3 RS to stay competitive with twin-turbo V8 exotics in a drag race, despite its seemingly modest power output. Launch Control releases the anchor at 6,500 RPM, executing a ruthlessly effective yet mechanically controlled launch to prevent the 4.0-liter naturally aspirated flat six from bogging down. The 911 GT3 RS consistently accelerated to 60 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds and completed the quarter mile in 10.9 seconds at 126.8 miles per hour. The engine, featuring six individual throttle bodies, produces a visceral howl as it climbs towards 9,000 RPM. The 7-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission executes lightning-fast upshifts with finesse. And despite the RS feeling a bit jittery on uneven roads, it exudes unwavering stability at 150 miles per hour on smooth surfaces. Even with the active aero elements in their low drag, low downforce positions to aid acceleration, the GT3 RS remains confidently planted. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.